This video is for all you PC gamers out there that are banging your head against the wall. After having spent endless hours trying to figure out how to install your favorite prison architect mods. This guide will work on other games as well, but in this video, we are just focusing on prison architect. There are several video tutorials out there showing you how to do this, but they are a bit outdated, contain way too many steps, and they don't have much clarity. This video is going to shorten those steps, so you can get back to your game as soon as possible. So, I'm going to show you how to install your favorite mods in just a few easy steps. Before we get started, I want to point out that not all mods are compatible with each other. More on this in a little bit. Also, this video is not sponsored by anyone. If you wish to pause the video to perform the steps as we go along, feel free to do so. So, let's get started. Step 1. Download needed programs. The first thing we need to do is download a program that can unzip the mod files you are about to download or have already downloaded. For this, we are going to use WinRAR. I recommend using a browser window solely for the purpose of this tutorial. I also recommend using WinRAR over other programs to ensure all files are displayed that need to be unzipped. If you do not have all the files needed, the mod will not install. Open your internet browser and navigate to the website shown on your screen. As you can see here, there are two versions to choose from. You can choose the free version and use it free for 40 days. You will also be given an opportunity to purchase at a discount the very moment you open the software. Follow the steps to install WinRAR and once the software installation is complete go ahead and run the software. Step 2. Ready the browser tabs. For this next part, we need to open tabs for Steam and Steam Workshop Downloader. You can use the WinRAR tab if you would like, since you are done with that tab. If you have Steam downloaded on your PC, you can absolutely use it instead. So, in one tab you need to navigate to store.steampowered.com. In the top navigation bar, find and hover over Community, then find and select Workshop in the drop-down menu. In the Search for Workshop field, enter Prison Architect and search. Find the mod you wish to download and navigate to that page. No matter how you access Steam, whether it be through a PC browser or through the Steam app, right-click the Description tab and select Copy Page URL. If you are using a PC browser, you can copy the URL from your address bar. In the second tab I had you open, navigate to Steam, Workshop, Downloader, dot, IO. Once the page loads, paste the URL you copied into the green field and your mod will be retrieved. When you see the mod and download button appear, click download. Repeat this step for all the mods you wish to use in Prison Architect. Once you are done downloading all your desired mod files, you can close your browser window. Step 3. Moving your mod zip files. Now, it's time to put your mod files where they need to go. For this, we need to open two file explorer windows. Click the file folder in your taskbar to open the first window. To open the second window, right-click on the file folder. Then select File Explorer. I recommend rearranging the windows as shown. Now, we are going to navigate one folder to our Downloads folder, which can be found under Quick Access. In the other File Explorer window, we need to select Windows. Users, App Data, Local, Introversion, Prison Architect, and finally Mods. If you don't see a folder named App Data, click on View in the menu bar. Then to the right, put a tick mark in the box alongside hidden items. You should now see a folder named App Data. It will be a lighter shade of color, indicating it is a hidden item. Now, select all the mods you downloaded and drag them to your mods folder. You should already have a folder named mods, but if you don't, 
You will need to create one before we can proceed, so go ahead and do that if you need to do so. If not, let's go ahead and proceed to step 3. You can now close your downloads folder. Step 3. Installing your mods. In your mods folder, I would highly recommend you clicking on the file location and copying that line of text. Now, let's begin installing those awesome mods. Start by double-clicking any of your mods to open the file. Note, you need to set WinRAR as the program to run this file. Once the zip file opens, double-click on the mod file within. This will open to show two more items. One file folder named Data, and a text document named Manifest. Not all unzip software will show both of these items, however, both are needed for the mod to work. This leaves some to believe the mod is broken or doesn't exist. If you don't see these mods, then you need a new unzipper. Might I suggest WinRAR? The link is on your screen. Now, select and highlight the file folder and text document. Then select Extract to. In the file destination, we need to change the file location to point to your mod folder. To do that, select the entire file location field and press Ctrl-V to paste the file location we just copied moments earlier. My screen will look slightly different because I have already unzipped mods previously to this video being made. If successful, you should have a folder with the same name as the mod you just unzipped. Double check to make sure there is a manifest document inside. Do this for all of the mods you downloaded. Once you have finished, start Prison Architect, go to Extras and see if your mods are installed. There's just one more thing I should mention before I go. Prison Architect seems to have a mod compatibility feature. You may not be able to use all the mods you downloaded simultaneously due to compatibility issues. You will know if there is an issue as mods are selected, incompatible mods will be removed from your list of selectable mods. Well, that's it. If you liked this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up.